Hi, I'm Fred Gould. I'm a professor of entomology at North Carolina State University, and I'm also the chair of the current National Research Council Committee study on genetically engineered crops, past experience, and future prospects. I'm thanking you very much for taking the time to listen to this video that outlines the objectives of our study. When it comes to genetically engineered crops and food, people around the world have a wide range of questions and opinions about their economic, agronomic, and health impacts and their safety. Claims and research that extol both the benefits and the risks of genetically engineered crops have created a confusing landscape for the public and for policymakers. The National Research Council is conducting a broad study of the science and use of genetically engineered crops, or GE crops, within the context of the contemporary global food and agricultural system. The mission of the National Research Council is to improve government decision making and public policy, to increase public understanding, and to promote the acquisition and dissemination of knowledge in matters involving science, engineering, technology, and health. The study builds upon previous National Research Council studies, which have addressed food safety, environmental, social, economic, and regulatory aspects of genetic engineering technology and its use in agriculture. Because this technology always is evolving, concepts and questions raised in early reports are being updated. The study is being conducted by a committee of experts assembled by the National Research Council whose diverse backgrounds will help them accomplish the following tasks. Assess the evidence for purported negative effects of genetically engineered crops and their accompanying technologies such as poor yields, deleterious effects on human and animal health, increased use of pesticides and herbicides, the creation of superweeds, reduced genetic diversity, fewer seed choices for producers, and negative impacts on farmers in developing countries and on producers of crops that are not genetically engineered. The committee will also assess evidence for purported benefits of genetically engineered crops and their accompanying technologies, such as reduction in pesticide use, reduced soil loss, and better water quality through synergy with no-till cultivation practices, reduced crop loss from pests and weeds, increased flexibility and time for producers, reduced spoilage and mycotoxin contamination, better nutritional value potential, and improved resistance to drought and salinity. The committee also will review the scientific foundation of current environmental and food safety assessments, the need for additional testing, and issues related to new developments in genetic engineering of crops which relate to research and development, regulation, ownership, agronomic practices, and farming in developing countries. The study will culminate in a report to be released in early 2016. I invite you to learn more about our study and about our committee on our website, where you'll also find information on past and upcoming meetings uh, put on by our committee.